email time. Okay, what do we have here? Your credit cards overdrawn. You have inherited five hundred thousand pounds from Nigeria. Enlarge your penis. This really works. Oh God! Wait, what's this? Portrait prize is on again. Portrait prize? My God! I've only just gotten my painting back from the last one. I didn't even make a video about it online. I mentioned my previous entry, but... Gee, so much to talk about. <sighs> all right, all right, let's get this over with. Hello and welcome to The Pretentious Show. I'm Alexander Devonport. The National Portrait Prize is on again. So soon. Last year it came, I saw, and it left. And once again, I created a painting that was rejected. I'm making this video in December. However, the exhibition was in July, and the portrait entry was for February. What took my sweet time doing this video? Well, apart from having a day job, it's trying to figure out exactly what to say about one small issue. One small niggling feeling that I had, knowing that something was wrong. Some small, almost invisible problem that I have been blind to. Oh look, there it is, the sponsor, BP. Well, you can't really blame me, can you? After all, it's only called the BP Portrait Award. Anyway, there it is. Few issues to talk about. BP as the sponsor, my entry into the competition, and the exhibition itself. So, let's give this a go, shall we? Let's talk about the BP Portrait Award. The subject I used is Gaynor Hoggett, mother, biker, pagan, and lover of life. She was a nurse for 20 years, but had two car accidents, and so she no longer practices. However, whenever she can, she does volunteer work. I admire her strength and patience, and I managed to pin her down for a half an hour sketch. The pose I did shows one of her quiet moments. Most haven't seen this side, but I have, and I wanted to share it with everyone. The first idea was to have a great person. The next idea was to have a first great impact. I went for scale and detail. This was inspired by last year's entry exhibition, showing off the artist's skill with any medium whatsoever, through oil or acrylic. While last year's work I concentrated on quality and beauty in oils, this year I concentrated on quality and quantity in acrylic. Neither entry was accepted. Maybe the mistake I made was I was going for a photorealistic look, and it doesn't look like a photo at all. The reason I'm saying this is because I feel more comfortable with my previous entry. Although this was not accepted either, I believe I gave it my best shot, and I gave the world what I believe to be the best depiction of the sitter. It also looks somewhat familiar to my usual works where I juxtapose illustrations with text. For this reason, my last entry seems to stick out from my usual works. I tried something different, it didn't work, but I thank Gaynor for her help. I move on. But wait, how are the uh, artworks judged anyway? Is it through uh, realism? Is it through context? Well, I'll get to that, but for now I want to show you my favourites, in no particular order. Wonder Flower by Harriet White. Despite being a sweaty, greasy, giant head, it is a perfect photorealism. I guess that's the power of photorealism. Even if the subject matter is boring or unnerving or even ugly, the viewer will still say, well done. The Evil Murdering Misguided Queen Cassandra by Louise Pragnall. Just look at that cold hearted bitch. I just love over the top theatrical costumes. George O'Dwad by Leila Leons. The subject is Boy George, but I don't care who he is. I just love the style, the pose, the colours, 
so dynamic, with a big splash of sexuality. I can't help but love this beautifully camp painting. At This Time of Night by Al Frenny. I want to see more paintings like this. I'm a big fan of Banksy and Basquet, but also beautifully rendered oil paintings as well. And this marries the two styles perfectly. Abbey by Nathan Ford. As always, an expressionistic painting caught my attention. That one clean eye staring out through me through a sea of scribbles. I like it. Jade, the rehearsal by David J. Eckenberg. Is she an actor, a designer, a stagehand, a friend? Is that a costume or her clothes? I want to meet her. I could have been a contender by Wendy Ellett. I, I hope that's how you pronounce it. I apologize. This was also great. A story seems to unfold right before us. Someone walking into the room and seeing an artist painting herself naked. Oh no, cover your eyes. I love it. My favorite, Holly by Louise Smith and Camille Said. Call it Renaissance, Barack, or Pre-Raphaelic, it's a nice creation of old painting style that everyone says has died. You can't really see on this painting, but it had a giant gold frame that reached the floor. Nice touch. And seeing that this was second prize, I'm glad that I'm not the only one who liked it. So, what's the first prize? Distracted by Wim Heldens. Um, uh, um, yeah, yeah, it, it's nice. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but why? I mean, seriously, what's the criteria? How do you judge this? Is it, a, is it because it's honest, not trying too hard? I realize that it's hard to judge art because it's a subjective subject, but come on. And why wasn't my artwork accepted this year? Ah, oh, forget it. Now on to the big issue here, BP. <sighs> well, I'm applying again this year, so I really shouldn't snub someone who is potentially rewarding me a cash prize. Saying that, however, I always have to give £30 for entry fee, so a bitter rant is always fun. Mind you, if I was to whine about BP, it would merely be a recycled statement about what has already been said, particularly about the 4.9 million barrel oil spill resulting from a financial and environment ruin for 320 miles of coastline and 4,200 square miles of seawater. BP is to compensate with £20 billion. So the BP Portrait Prize is merely an emotional compensation for us, but the prize has been sponsored by BP for 22 years, according to a spokesperson, of course. The only difference this year, and the previous year, is that there have been some very creative forms of protest. Last year, a man managed to sneak himself into the place and hand out oil in champagne flutes. I don't know if it was real oil, able to poison and kill people, but if it wasn't, then well done, nice protest. But this year's protest was much more informative. A mobile art exhibition stood outside the gallery as a protest saying BP was merely using the arts as an attempt to divert attention away from its impact of the environment. One of the paintings showed was First Splash Since Spill. It pictured child playing in an oil-covered water in Louisiana after being told it was safe. A brilliant and honest protest. In fact, check out the website. I'll leave a link for you. So is receiving prize money from them immoral? Well, I don't think so. You see, you can't confuse morality with honour. Refusing a sponsorship because you don't like what they've done in the past does not make you morally superior. I'm sorry, it just doesn't. And it doesn't change anything either. Furthermore, being sponsored by a large organisation does not ask you to justify what they have done in the past. Hell, you're not even obligated to be quiet about it. And if I win next year, and hopefully I will, I will thank but not praise the donators. Yes, I realise this video is one big hypocritical mess, but I guess I just wanted to say what was on my mind. Hell, I might even be accepted this year. But making videos like this won't help me.
Today's episode of The Pretentious Show is not sponsored by BP. I don't like oil companies, but oil is an essential commodity in life and videos like this won't hurt them. So if BP are listening, please, please, please don't punish me for speaking my mind.